Ever wondered why you can't see air or where rain comes from? Let's meet our invisible friends, air and water. They're all around us, but we often forget they're there. Air, for instance, is like a silent, invisible partner we can't live without. You see, even though we can't see it, we can feel it. When we breathe, when the wind blows, when a balloon inflates, that's air at work. Air has some pretty cool tricks up its sleeve. It can fill spaces, apply pressure, and even carry sounds from one place to another. And the best part? It keeps us alive. Every breath you take is filled with oxygen, an essential part of air that our bodies need to function. Now, let's talk about water. Water is a bit more visible than air, but it's just as important. It comes from various sources around us. In the natural environment, we find water in rivers, lakes, and oceans. It falls from the sky as rain, and sometimes it's locked away in glaciers and ice caps. But water doesn't just exist in nature. We've built ways to bring water right to our homes, through taps and bottled water. We even use it in our swimming pools and water parks for a bit of fun. And just like air, water is vital for life. It quenches our thirst, keeps our bodies functioning properly, and is home to countless creatures in rivers, lakes and oceans. But where does rain come from? Well, it's a part of a fascinating process called the water cycle, which involves evaporation, condensation, precipitation and collection. But we'll dive into that adventure in the next scene. So next time you take a deep breath or drink a glass of water, remember our invisible friends. Ever wondered how a raindrop takes a trip around the world? Well, let's embark on an adventure and follow the journey of a brave little raindrop. Imagine our raindrop is chilling in a beautiful blue ocean, soaking up the warm sunshine. Suddenly it feels lighter and it starts to rise into the sky. This is called evaporation. Just like how you'd feel warmer and lighter in a hot bath, our raindrop gets heated up by the sun and transforms into an invisible vapor, saying goodbye to its ocean friends and floating up, up, and away. As it rises higher, it enters a cooler part of the sky. Here it starts to change again, this time turning back into a liquid. This is known as condensation. Think of it like this. When you take a cold drink out of the fridge on a hot day, you'll notice droplets forming on the outside. That's condensation. Our raindrop, now part of a fluffy cloud, is ready for the next stage of its journey. Suddenly it feels heavier. It's time for the raindrop to fall back to Earth. This is what we call precipitation. It could fall as rain, snow, sleet or hail, depending on how cold it is. But let's say it's a warm day, so our raindrop falls as a delightful cooling rain. Finally, our raindrop lands back where it started, in the ocean. This part of its journey is known as collection, but don't think our raindrop's adventure is over. Oh no, this is a never-ending journey. The sun will shine again and our raindrop will start the whole cycle over, ready for its next big adventure. So you see, every time you feel a raindrop fall on your nose, remember, it's been on an incredible journey, all powered by the sun and the nature around us. Isn't that amazing? And that's how our brave little raindrop travels the world. Did you know water can change its shape? just like a chameleon changes its color? Yes, it's true. Water can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas, and it's all down to temperature. Imagine a chilly winter's day. You're wrapped up in your warmest coat, and what's that crunching beneath your feet? That's right, it's ice. Water's solid state. It's hard, it's cold, and you can hold it in your hand. Now think of a sunny summer's day. You're at the beach and you dip your toes in the sea. Ah, oh, that's refreshing. That's water in its liquid state. It's wet, it's cool, and it flows around your feet. But what about a hot, hot day? You've just bought a lovely ice cream, but oh no, it's melting. That's because the heat is turning the ice, or solid water, into liquid water. And if it gets even hotter, that liquid water can turn into a gas and evaporate into the air. So, water is a real shapeshifter, isn't it? Do you know why we can't live without air and water? Well, let's start with air. Air is like an invisible blanket that wraps around our Earth. It's made up of many different gases, but the one we're most interested in is oxygen. This is because we breathe in oxygen, and it's vital for our bodies to function. Think about it this way. Every time you take a deep breath, you're filling your lungs with the oxygen your body needs to keep you moving, playing, and learning. But air isn't just for breathing. It also gives us wind, which can be powerful enough to turn giant wind turbines and generate electricity. It can help sailboats glide across the water, or carry a kite soaring into the sky. 
Wind also helps to spread seeds from plants and trees, helping new life to grow. Now, let's talk about water. When you're thirsty, nothing tastes better than a refreshing glass of water. That's because our bodies are made up of more than 60% water. It helps to keep us hydrated, aids in digestion, and even helps to keep our skin looking healthy and vibrant. But just like air, water isn't just for drinking. It supports life in so many ways. Rivers, lakes, and oceans are teeming with a wide variety of creatures. From the tiniest plankton to the largest whales, all depend on water for their survival. Water also aids in the growth of plants and trees, providing the necessary moisture they need to thrive. Water is part of an amazing cycle too. It evaporates from the Earth's surface, forms clouds in the sky, falls back down as rain, and is collected in our rivers and oceans, only to start the process all over again. This is why we must take good care of our air and water. By keeping them clean and free from pollution, we can ensure that they continue to support life on Earth in all its wonderful forms. So air and water are not just our friends, they're our lifesavers.